Hey guys, Justin here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a new phase and a new ability for the character we just created in the previous video. So first off, let's go to the DV sample phases. I'm going to create a new phase. Let's name this Rex underscore zero one. Uh, phase name is the default. As you can see here, we can assign hit animations. Let's just do that. So let's just create a hit animation montage. Uh, I'm just going to do one. You can do do it for four different directions, but for this example, I'm just going to do the front. So this is our hit anima animation montage. I'm going to assign that to all of these front, hit, back, etc. Now, if if you hit the, the AI and it doesn't play, that's because in the anim graph, the layered blend per bone, we have different bone names as to what the skeleton has. So if you go to the, as you can see here, the root is named Dragon Rex Alpha. So let's just copy that. And in the anim blueprint, let's replace this that with the root and the spine let's do that as well copy bone name and that and then in the boss uh blueprint i'm just gonna replace the phase right here with rex underscore zero one so take note of the phase id it should be the same as the row name so if we go over here as you can see, it plays the hit animation. If you make that faster, yeah, and you can do that for all different directions as well. So now we're going to create a new ability. So back to the data table. Just add a new ability right here. We're going to create a simple area of effect attack. Call it area attack. Ability class is area. So it doesn't have a component tag. Let's leave all of this by default. Damage type is default. Um, targeting max distance. Sure, why not? Uh, the modifier is what's going to uh, modify whatever class you picked. So for example, in the ability area, it's going to modify the radius of the area. So let's set this to 300. And then we need an animation for it. So let's go create an animation. I'm just going to pick... Uh, Let's just pick the bite animation. Sure. Create an anim montage. AM bite. And now I'm going to need a damage mod notify. So, so we know when the damage applies. So let's say right over here, add notify notify state notify damage so as you can see here the area should fire the damage right about here actually maybe right here and then we'll assign this animation here and the duration let's let's match the duration with the animation 1.67 so let's say 1.7 cooldown of three seconds so now this ai should damage us and if i enable if i enable the debug mode should be able to see how big the radius is now that's 300. 
So if we increase the modifier to let's say 600, There you go. Now we can also, if you notice, we can add combos to it. So the combo is just a sub ability. So it has the same uh, class, damage, targeting, animations, modifier, etc. Now, what if you wanted to use hitboxes uh, instead of uh, just a simple area of effect attack well we can do that as well let's create a new ability uh, let's name this hitbox attack the type is hitbox and we, we're gonna need a component tag and this component tag is gonna reference a hitbox from this actor right here. So let's just say um, t tail, all lower lower cases. Then we're going to add a hitbox for the tail. A sphere collision. Attach it to the tail right there let's say mm, let's say it's that big we're gonna tag it with tail same as the tag we added in the data table and then we're gonna create an animation using this one okay am underscore tail attack now we can add a damage motif notify as well now the cool thing with this is we can expand this and say that this whole thing is the window for the attack to happen for the damage to happen so let's say the damage dealing starts at this point up to here So if the character was standing like over here, it would still get damaged when it swipes, right? Up to that point. So let's assign that to the visuals. We don't need the modifier since we're using a hitbox. And duration is three seconds hmm it's a bit long whatever five cooldown now in order to force the AI to use that certain ability so we don't have to so it doesn't use the area attack we can use um, ability debug ability index so set that to one because one is the index of the hitbox attack as you can see here so it should use that there you can see you can even see the the debug of the attack right there you go now another cool thing about the notified damage is you can add multiple instances of this so if you had an animation that had like multiple slashes you can do that as well and you can have multiple damage in instances in one animation so if this thing hits us it should damage us a bit more than before see you can see there damage us like three times there you go because we added multiple instances of the damage notify. So yeah, that's the ability system in a nutshell. You can, there are more features of this, but you can explore that yourself as well. It's actually very well documented 
you have uh, tooltips for all of these things right here. Uh, hope that was helpful. Cheers.